Hey everybody, I am back with another process video, finally, right? You guys are probably asking, where have you been, Victoria? And I will explain all of that in my scrappy chat that I'll post either today or tomorrow. So I've been part sick and part dealing with family stuff, but I am so glad to be back. I lost my creative mojo there for a second, but I kind of found it So this weekend, so I'm really excited want to do a process video because I know you guys have been waiting. So thanks for being so patient. All right, so this layout is called Ode to Coffee. And if you've been following me for a while, then you know that I love all things coffee and wine and chocolates. <laughs> Those are like the three things that sustain me in my life at the moment. And I decided to scrap with this picture of me. And I think I took it to post on my Instagram um, page because I love that mug. And it was one of a, a new mug that I had gotten this past fall. And so I wanted to take a picture with my shiny new owl mug, but um, I also like taking pictures of myself and taking pictures of the coffee that I <laughs> that I drink, just for random things that um, stories that I like to tell in scrapbook pages about myself. And so I really really love coffee, and I thought this would be fun. And plus, I loved I wanted to scrapbook that mug too because it's so pretty. And this will go in the album that's all about me, that talks about my interest and whatnot. So what am I using? I'm using a Hip Kit Club from January 2017, and a lot of the papers and the embellishments that you will see for this layout come from the Pink Paisley um, Take Me Away collection that was designed by Paige Evans. And I also included some items from my stash. So I'll point those out as well. So what I did was I took that beautiful background paper and then of course I layered up my photo and I did sort of this uh, kind of textured rip design on the edges of the photo using my ruler because I want to create just a little bit more texture. I grabbed some of these um, tags from the collection. There's a dark kind of charcoal one and a pink one because I want to add just a bit of color there to the top. Then I'm going to take this little fringe heart that I can't remember what manufacturer made that. That was just laying around in my stash. I want to say pink paisley but I could be completely wrong. So there's that label that says happy 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 and that came in one of the die cut sets with the kit. Okay, so now I'm going to add some twine. This is gray and white twine from American Crafts. I'm going to layer something on that little heart here in just a second, but I wanted to get these strings attached to my tabs because if you know me, that's usually last minute after I have put the tabs on the page. Now I want to use this clip and it says lovely. I'm going to rip it apart. Don't be afraid to destroy your <laughs> embellishments to make them work on your page or maybe alter them. Perhaps that's probably a better word. So I want to layer something to the right hand side, but before I do that, I'm going to add some foam to the back of my layer. Now, I know a lot of people have seen um, folks use foam um, on the back of their photos and embellishments to add a little bit of height and dimension. That is archival. I purchased that at Michael's. They also have some sticky back foam as well, so you can use that on your scrapbook pages and be a-okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay this down on my layout background and that's looking great. And you all know I love to layer, which speaking of layering, if you haven't checked it out already, I have a new class called Layering Like a Boss 2. It's the second in my Layering Like a Boss series where I go more in depth into how you can create impactful layered embellishments. So make sure you check that out. Link is posted below in the description. So I'm adding some glue dots to the back of that metal piece there to hold it in place and I hope it doesn't fall off. It seems pretty darn sturdy so I'm going to trust that it's okay. And I just want to add just a little bit of layering and some sparkle there and a bit of height and texture with that piece. Now I'm going to work on the lower left hand side. I get this ampersand, um, not because it really goes particularly well with the theme of the layout but it's beautiful and it's golden so it's going to go on my page. Now I will tell you for full disclosure, I did not plan this page out. I just grabbed a bunch of stuff out of the kit. And I also added things from my stash to the kit so I could fill it out a little bit more. And I just grabbed some things and just slapped a page together because I just needed to. And sometimes when I have a slump, a creative slump, um, I limit what I use. I sit down and I, use, and I do a go-to layout, meaning that I create a design that I use frequently. And this is a design that I use a lot in my scrapbooking. All right, so you notice that I added some wood veneer stars. I'm going to um, do a little altering to that in just a second, but first I want to get down these cute little tassels. And I've really been challenging myself to use tassels because I have so many and they're really pretty and I get intimidated to use them on a scrapbook page. I don't know why. Even I have my scrapbooking hangups. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to adhere those down using some enamel dots, not enamel dots, but some glue dots. Hold those in place. That looks really cute and playful and whimsical. I'm going to add some flowers there. Of course, you notice I tucked some flowers in between my layers there to the right. I'm going to do the same at the left hand side or on the left hand side of this layout. So I have this little cut apart, not a cut apart, it was a die cut that I cut in half to use on another layout, I believe for um, 
a class. And I'm going to go ahead and layer another flower there. Did I say heart? That's a flower. Okay, so now I'm going to use these Thickers fonts, and that came with the kit. And these black and white ones are called Charming, and that's by Thickers. And I'm going to spell out Ode to Coffee. And then underneath that, I'm going to use another Thickers font, and it is gold, and that is called um, Desktop by Dear Lizzie. You're going to see that here in just a second. So I'm going to get those all into place. Love those fonts. I like mixing my fonts. If you're looking to make your titles a little bit more interesting, consider using one or two different types of fonts to create your title. Okay, so I'm going to spell out coffee. Love these. I think I ended up buying about three or four sets of these Dear Lizzie desktop um, thickers fonts because, you know, I just use them so much. So I grabbed a resin flower, a little rose from my stash. That's another item that I absolutely love. Sometimes I get intimidated to use on a scrapbook layout. I think it's because of the height of the item. I don't want my pages to be too bulky. Considering that would have been your heart, but then I decide against that. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a dipped effect on my wood veneer, which as of late is one of my favorite techniques to do on my embellishments, particularly my wood veneer. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the top portion of my stars with washi tape, and then I'm going to attempt to stamp. At first I was trying to stamp with the lid of my stamp. FYI, you cannot in fact stamp your items with the lid of your stamp, right? <laughs> I've been out of practice. Okay, so I'm going to stamp that up using some Mementos ink, and that is a pink color, and I can't remember the exact name of it, but there you go. I'm trying to hold it up and show you. I'm filming with my iPhone because my iPad broke, and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to invest in a DSLR camera so I can take pictures and film on the camera, but I that's kind of pricey, so um, I'm going to stick with my phone. I have a brand new phone. I have the latest iPhone, so I'm going to stick with that for now. All right, so I add those wood veneers on, looking good. I want to add a little bit of the uh, puffy, not puffy, but um, foam squares to the back just to give those flowers a bit of height there and they don't fall on the page. And I want to add a little bit of these beautiful enamel shapes. So I'm going to add some stars and little dots. And I want to say that is from the Pink Paisley Take Me Away collection, but I, I think I threw away the packaging. So, um, but that did come with my with my um, Hip Kit Club kit for January. Or maybe it's February. Maybe this kit is for February. <laughs> I think this is my February kit, now that I think about it. Okay, I've been out of practice. <laughs> All right, so the title is typed with my Typecast typewriter, and it reads, Oh, coffee, I love thee. You're the best thing since sliced bread, and I love you. <laughs> That is my ode to coffee. I do drink coffee every day. I like trying new coffees. I try to switch out from coffee to tea and then just doing hot lemon water um, as well because I have acid reflux. So if I drink too much coffee, it aggravates that. But um, nevertheless, it won't stop me from drinking <laughs> from drinking my favorite beverage. All righty. So there we go. All done. Beautiful layers. Great colors. Love the photo. Love that mug. It's one of my favorites. I probably use it every day. That came along very well. Didn't take me very long to do this layout. Maybe about 15 minutes and then I was done. All right. Pictures are right here for you to look at. I'll also post pictures on the blog momentarily. Make sure that you check me out um, on Facebook, Instagram, and on my blog. And also don't forget to check out the Learning Like a Boss 2 class. All that information and links are down below. All right, guys. Check you later.